Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima and I'm here checking out Treasures of Montezuma Blitz. This is a little bit of a disappointing one because as it turns out, this game doesn't exist anymore. You can't download it on the PlayStation Store unless you have it in your download list already. And even if you could, you can't actually do a new save on this game without talking to the servers which are down. So yeah, can't do that. So I had to find my old PlayStation Plus save of this game, which was actually kind of convenient to have. So I could actually check this one out because, well, you're not going to be seeing this one anymore, which is a real shame. So it's, as you can tell by the name Treasures of Montezuma, it's a match three game. That's the name of a series of match three games that have been coming out from the same dev for a while. And by the name Blitz, you can tell that you've got one minute to score as many points as possible. And the idea was this was a free-to-play game. So you would play and earn gems up in the top right to upgrade and unlock power-ups, which you'd get by leveling up, which is also in the top right. And you'd have a limited amount of lives, which would slowly regenerate over time. There were a bunch of other things that were neat about this game, though. Like, you have a daily tournament in the bottom right there. Well, a weekly tournament, I should say, sorry. And the person who was highest on your friends list, I think it was would get a massive amount of gems. However, this could also bug out and give you, even though you didn't win a tournament, a billion or something gems like that. Just a ridiculous amount. Enough to upgrade every single power up. Let me try that again. Enough to upgrade every single power up to the max level. Which I did. So you have a bunch of different bonuses and totems you can take along. The totems will give you different bonuses depending on what color you can match twice in a row. So say if I was to match purple in a, twice in a row, it would add extra bonuses to the board. If I was to do the same with a white totem, it would repaint several tokens in one color. Stuff like that, right? And you can only take along two totems and three bonuses at a time. The bonuses are simple. There's dynamite, there's lightning, which goes out in every direction. There's the color burst, which destroys a bunch of different tokens. You can have extra gems. You can have more um more score for gems and you can increase the amount of time you can go on to score frenzy which is nice but again you can only pick three at a time so i've picked what i think is the best setup for having as getting as many points as possible but the thing is the thing that doesn't give you as many points as possible doesn't actually um it doesn't actually let you have like huge amounts of explosions and stuff going on the board but i will show that off I am absolutely capable of showing that off, and I will right now. It costs a lot of crystals to actually rent all these power-ups too, so you do have to uh, play without them from time to time. But unfortunately, um, well, well, more like fortunately, you do earn them at a well, you did earn them at a somewhat decent rate, depending on um, depending on how well you did in the game, because you did get more gems the better you did, and that's just a thing that these these games do. The game feels like it was designed for Vita from the ground up, which is actually kind of nice. Nice? What the fuck is Nice? Other than that place that got shot up in France by those terrorists. That was a terrible taste. Like, that wasn't even a joke. That was just me fucking up my pronunciation. Um, yeah, as I was saying, the game feels like it was designed from bottom up to Vita. The touchscreen controls are really nice. They work really well. They're nice and smooth. They're accurate. You never feel like you've actually missed something because the game's controls didn't really work properly. I'm about to run out of time. This is a terrible fucking game. I had some really bad luck because half my board was locked up on the left side there. So there wasn't really that much I could do about it. But yeah, you get a bunch of bonuses at the end. You get some XP, some crystals. The crystals are the things in the top right there. There you go. You level up and you get crystal bonuses as well, so it's not like it stiffs you entirely. Like, even at level 38 something, I'm still leveling up every few games, or at least I was leveling up every few games. So, that was nice, because that meant, because that means you don't have to spend forever waiting to level up. It doesn't feel like a game that's designed to screw you out of your money, which is kind of nice. I really don't like that the mobile market just does that more often these days. Where the hell was that supposed to go? Um, bloody hell. I'm having some terrible fucking luck today. You know what they say, as soon as it goes on camera, that's when everything goes to shit, right? 
Yeah. When you start match, when you match everything at a good pace like that, you go into score frenzy. Everything earns extra points. And of course, the bonuses on the screen do all sorts of different things, like you can get hint power ups and stuff like that. Just all the basic stuff, like shit that explodes, shit that tells you all the moves you can make, all of that. It's all, it's all here. It's all pretty basic. I mean, there's not that much innovation you can do with a match three game, right? There's not really that much you can do with it, but. What's here works really well. I'm actually really disappointed to see that this game isn't around anymore because this game is pretty neat. It does everything right about these sorts of games, right? I'm going to shuffle the board before I run out of moves. There we go. Yeah, this is what the game really looks like once it gets moving. The sounds are blaring in your ears. There's tons of points happening. I gotta shuffle the fucking board again. There's all sorts of just nice noises and sounds coming from it. It feels entirely satisfying just to blow up an absolute ton of gems at the speed of light. And that's a much better score. So yeah, you earn more gems, you earn all sorts of things like this, and you just try and beat your high score and your friends' high scores and stuff like that. But yeah, I just leveled up off that, because that's nice. I will remove these power-ups here and see if I can just get some massive amount of um just chaos and carnage going on on the screen, because this game has got surprisingly good performance for a game like this, right? With all the effects and stuff going on, I'm just looking for um, something that would be more entertaining to have on screen. I, you know, I'll definitely take this one. Alright, so... Whoop. Alright, so let's give it another shot. It's a really fun free-to-play game. I wonder if they've actually gotten around to pointing this game to mobiles yet, because I'd probably play it there, depending on if they don't fuck with the, um... Depending on if they don't actually fuck with the, you know, actual formula. I might consider playing it on a mobile phone, because I'd probably be able to give them, like, ad revenue or something like that, just for the purpose of, um, you know, actually supporting them and stuff like that. It's a really neat game. It's well put together. It's a fair free-to-play model. And I like it a lot. Like, I really do. It's one of those really neat games. There we go. That's some carnage. And now I can actually use the rear touch pad to destroy these items as I got the um, thing right. And there's a mode that you can activate where if you get both of them going at once, there's a... Uh, the whole screen goes dark and you have to use the, um, you have to use the thing, the thing, what the hell is the thing? You have to use something to, um, you have to use the touch pad in order to get the BOOM! You have to use the touch pad in order to get rid of some darkness, which is a neat idea, in order to actually get the gems lying behind the darkness and it gives you an absolute ton of bonus points. It's great. I barely got that mode, but it was great whenever... Yes! Here's dark mode. This is what I was telling you about. So yeah, you can earn extra time. You can build your strategy around your play style. Like you can... If you want to go for specific colors, you can do that. That's perfectly fine. Look at all the points I just got. It's great. And you can't play it anymore unless you have already played it at least once, so you know what I'm talking about when I say this game is great. That's an absolute ton of points right there. That would have been a contender for the weekly tournament record. 6.8 million.
Yeah, this game's great. For a free-to-play title, it is one of the best sorts of titles for this sort of, like, model that I could possibly imagine. You were able to buy crystals back when it was originally out, and I was a little bit disappointed when it when I found out this game was actually dead, because I didn't notice the game was dead until, well, a couple of days ago, actually. There was also something else I noticed as well, that a game that I'd gone and completely ignored was actually a sort of semi-successor to this one. But we'll get into that in another video, because, well, I have the game right here, and I'm actually going to record this right now, but obviously I'm not going to release these two videos on the same day. Also, you can see that I'm actually installing Sly Cooper because I plan on doing this as a retro game video one day. But once it decides it wants to finish up, I will happily scroll up and let you see the thing you might have seen just flashing by in the distance there just for a second. It is Treasures of Montezuma 4. Yeah, they actually released another sort of adaptation of the same concept as a $5 paid game. So... I will be checking that out. I actually have checked that out. I'll be recording this video right... That video right after this one. But, yeah. Just, just... I know, like, you can't get this game anymore. And it's a little bit disappointing and depressing and all that. So why would I bring it up? Well, I just felt like running down memory lane a little bit. Because this game was fun. I enjoyed it. So, this has been Blue Maxima. And I'll see you all next time.